we're going to do something a little different. Yeah, the vlog thing generally doesn't tend to work out for us as much. We like more of like the sitting down and talking about things more. <laughs> um, so we're probably going to be doing more of this from now on instead of the vlog things. Um, kind of the same way we do Haunt Talk, but we have a lot of footage we'll be inserting as we kind of like talk about different points we want to make. Um, <clears throat> so in today's episode we're going to be talking about Kennywood. I mean, we went out there, the main uh, goal was to ride Steel Curtain, because um, it just opened a couple of weeks ago, and we did get lucky, they actually closed it down um, very shortly after we actually got to ride it. Yeah. Um, and this, I have been to Kennywood before, but it, uh, I was only there for their Phantom Fright Night, so I have never rode any rides there, um, and you was very limited, the things yeah, you Yeah, I, I guess I rode a few things, but I only actually remember riding Garfield's Nightmare. That's the only ride I actually remember from when I visited. Um, but yeah, so the, the we're kind of just going to be reviewing the things we did to get to ride. Um, the day we went um, was insanely busy. Uh, it was a Saturday. It was the only day we really could go, and we knew it was going to be busy, but I didn't expect it to be that busy. I mean, we waited in line for over an hour for pretty much everything, so we didn't get to ride every single thing. Um, but we talk about the things we did and kind of overall what we thought of the park. So we'll start with Steel Curtain. That'll probably be the thumbnail in this video, and I mean, probably the main point. A lot of people are going to watch it. Um, I thought the ride was very good. Um, it was really smooth. The one complaint that at least Kim had about it was the rattle. Yeah, it it was kind of scary. Like it, it kind of for being such a new roller coaster, and it had this like shake to it. And I don't know if it was just a fluke or what, but it was it was kind of scary. Yeah, no, I think it's the way it is, because, like, B&M coasters have that a lot, and this isn't, this is not a and m um, they get that rattle, um, I didn't bother me too much, the, going up the hill is kind of concerning, because it does, the, the whole thing does rattle a little bit when you're going up uh, that hill, and it, it's a long chain lift, they actually get to play the entire opening of Renegade, yeah. <laughs> when you go up it, so it does last for a while, um, it was fun, though, the, the coaster was, it did have some pretty, um, forceful moments, um, Lots of upside downsies. I think it's like the moment. It's like I don't. I don't remember. It has a whole bunch of ridiculous records. Like the top, like the the, the, the highest, highest inversion. Yeah. You know, coasters. They have to have stats. Like stats, they break something. I mean, Kenny Woods definitely. This is, I think, this is one of their only like big roller coasters. Uh, I think. I think it's the longest coaster in the park. At like uh, it's like two and a half minutes long because most of the other coasters are pretty short. Um, I thought the theming was pretty cool for the ride. Mm -hmm. um, unique. I mean, I'm not into sports, but I mean, I, I, I appreciate the uniqueness of the theming, and they um, are not done with the land yet. Yeah. There's going to be like a restaurant and stuff like that there. Um, there's a gift shop, so if you're a big fan of Steelers, you'll probably just have a field day <laughs> <laughs> at the at the gift shop that UMX uh, exit through for um, Steel Curtain. But um, not a lot of not a lot of airtime on the ride. There's a little bit. Um, and I like airtime more than anything else um, on rides. Um, like I said, I like the ride. And that's not like one of my not like one of my favorites. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it like uh, seven point five or eight out of ten. It's probably right around where I put the coaster. I'm definitely above average. One of the one of the better rides at Kennywood for sure. One of the better coasters. Um, um, and so we'll go ahead and start talking about the the next coaster that um, Kenny was probably secondly now most famous for, um, or still probably most famous for, is Phantom's Revenge. That one, that coaster was a lot of fun. Um, it was very short. Um, it packed a lot more punch than I was expecting yeah. this coaster to pack. It's really quiet. Like, kind of eerily quiet. I, I, I found it was really fun, but it was like, it, it was a really quiet roller coaster. And usually they make a little bit of noise. This was like, nothing. Yeah, it was, um, and it's, and I knew it was famous for, like, the second drop being larger, and it is really mm -hmm. creepy, because, like, you, that second drop, you can't tell how tall it is, because it goes off, like, the side of the, the mountain, and so it's a lot, um, taller than it appears from, like, inside the park because of that, and it definitely kind of gives you this, like, uh, especially, like, the first ride for us, kind of like, oh, gosh, I'm in the end, there's a couple, um, really intense airtime hills, yeah. um, which really kind of, uh, caught me for a loop, because... <laughs> I didn't realize, I thought we were going back to the station um, at the one point, but there's actually a little bit more left, um, and it confused me, so I like wasn't braced for it at all, and it, and it threw me pretty um, pretty good. Um, yeah, I like that ride, though. It was it was a lot of fun. I definitely see why people 
um, enjoy it for one of the best like old school steel roller coasters. Um, we did get to ride the Exterminator, which we waited almost two hours in line for this ride, which has to be insane. I don't think that, like, from what we understand, that's very abnormal. Like, even for weekends, that is very abnormal for how busy this park was. Um, it was a surprise. It's kind of like a Wild Mouse roller coaster style, but, um, I feel like it was more intense than most of those type of Yeah, yeah, and, like, it, like, spun you around, and there were, yes. like... Um, there were like characters and things like that inside there too, so it was kind of like a like a dark ride slash roller coaster kind of thing. And I, I was pleasantly surprised. I just I was I did not expect it at all. No, yeah, it was cool. There was light theming in there, and it's kind of it was funny because like the whole thing was kind of gross in the queue and that. But I'm like I'm like I don't know what's theming and what's not. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, because the whole place is kind of like you're almost like going through the sewers is like what it's supposed to feel like. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed that ride. Um, it was it was better than I expected it to be. Um, and then we did get so we didn't get a chance to ride the Racer th or Thunderbolt. We didn't get to ride those ones, which are classics, I guess. But um, because the parks were so busy, we kind of started running out of time. We did get to ride Jack Rabbit though. Um, that one very short. I mean, it's what almost a hundred years old. It's like ninety nine years and something. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was yeah. So it's almost a hundred year old roller coaster. Um, and it was actually quite a bit of fun. Mm hmm. Um, for as small as it was, the big thing it's known for is the drop hill. Um, it kind of does like those things like when you get in the slide of the potato sack where it kind of goes roop and then roop, but the roller coaster does that. So you go down the first hill and then it evens out and goes down again. You get a real um, intense pop of air time from that thing. Yeah. And all you got, I mean, it's an old school one, so all you got is a little seatbelt, which makes it even better. You just have like <laughs> a seatbelt and there's, there's, it's not a lap bar. There's a bar on there, but it doesn't move at all. You just kind of have to shimmy your way in there and put a seatbelt on. And it was like, crap. <laughs> like it. Yeah, um, it was yeah. intense. Definitely, um, definitely in, in enjoyed it. And there's like a nice um, long tunnel you go through when you first go in as well. Um, uh, probably one of our favorite one is actually, which I didn't expect to be, and I know it's closed down for a while, was um, Skyrocket. Um, I didn't expect much out of this coaster. It kind of looked like a uh, not as thrilling maverick from like looking at it. But I'll tell you what, that first um, hill you go over, w w both of us were out of our seats the entire time you crest that hill after the launch. Oh and we, you're, it's airtime the whole way down. And there's a lot of airtime on that coaster. Oh, yeah. And I really like the restraint. By that, I mean all the... <laughs> it's just a little <laughs> thing you just boop, break down on you. I mean, there's not even a seatbelt for the coaster. So, like, I mean, I was out of my seat multiple times. I mean, it does go upside down and stuff. Um, I really liked... I'm not sure the manufacturer of this ride, but I very much enjoyed this ride. And like I said, it was definitely, I think, the biggest surprise of the day because, like, I thought it looked cool, and it's also one of those coasters that you can, I guess, at times do the VR experience, which generally when they do VR with a coaster, that means the coaster's not that strong, yeah. because they're trying to supplement the boringness with something, but I thought I actually really enjoyed the coaster. Yeah. Um, we also rode a couple of their um, classic dark rides. We rode um, Ghostwood Estates. It's kind of your... Uh, haunted house, yeah. like kind of like a haunted mansion, but you like shoot at targets, mm -hmm. and... That was actually kind of fun because it was like a haunted house that you rode through. Because they had a lot of things that we've seen in like the haunted houses that mm -hmm. we've gone to. And there was actually a scare, a jump scare in there that like there we didn't even expect. Um, and it was just, it was very cute and fun and I, I enjoyed it. I always like spoopy stuff. So. Yeah, the one thing that sucked is um, they didn't keep our score. Yeah, there was no score never got at all. A score. Like the guns worked kind of like you shoot things and stuff would happen, but yeah, we didn't get to actually compete against each other for the score. Um, Reigning champions. And there, and there was a really cool part where because um, it's a trackless ride, so literally I've never seen a ride do this where I we, I thought it malfunctioned. I was kind of freaking out where it goes and it kind of just meanders off and just goes towards a wall and then just stops and you're like what? And then of course it backs itself up and I was like what the heck. So that actually kind of threw me for a loop. But that was a, yeah, it was a fun ride. Again, we waited like an hour for that one, too. Um, we also did uh, Garfield's Nightmare. So that's like kind of like a real slow, like, boat ride. Like, real old school yeah. boat ride. I guess it was kind of like one of those, um, it wasn't actually a tunnel of love. But it's like that kind of ride. Like, the old school where you're on, in a boat and you go through like a... Um, I guess it was called the Old Mill back in the day. Yeah. And, like, this one was cute. They gave you 3D glasses, and it was basically Garfield ate too much food. Big shock. 
and he's having all these nightmares about the food that he ate and like different things and scenarios and stuff and it's really cute yeah i thought it was a lot of fun i mean nothing like overtly thrilling about it or anything but it was a nice little relaxing we rode that it was the last well we rode skyrocket after that but it was one of the last rides of the night which was nice yeah um we also did noah's ark yes that was that's kind of like the coup de gras of the dark rides at kenny Wood. it's not really a ride it's a walk through it's basically like a biblical haunted house <laughs> it's the best way i can describe it now there's yeah. not there's not like um there's no actors to jump you, but there are actually a few like jolts and stuff like that, which I think there's even a sign that warns you. Yeah. It's like air cannons. Um, yeah, there were a few things. Yeah. Like the floor was kind of wonky. There were strobe yeah. lights in there. And the whole boat actually yes. tips back and forth. So as you're walking, you have to kind of brace yourself, yeah. or at least try to brace yourself. Exactly. And there are stairs in there, which is like really kind of strange. Yeah, you're like, hold on. You're like doing this, and they do have bars, and I highly recommend using the bars <laughs> that mm -hmm. they have on the stairs, because otherwise you're going to face plant. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, it was really, it's definitely an experience, because I've seen videos of it, but actually walking through it when the whole, it's so weird. I mean, I've been in fun houses where, like, a room moves, but, like, the entire, almost the entire structure, because there's parts of it that aren't, but when you get into the arc itself, the entire thing is swaying back and forth, and, like, when it stops, I mean, it kind of forces you, and, like, your people are, like, flying against the wall and stuff, and <laughs> I imagine people fall over each other a lot in there, that, yeah, um, that was, it was really interesting, definitely a really unique experience, something I don't think you can really find anywhere else. So now we're going to kind of talk about the park itself. Um, and the park was, it was pretty clean. It wasn't, um, they have a litter gator. I don't remember if I have footage of that or not. If I do, it'll be, it'll be here. Um, I think I, I don't remember. That's really called a litter gator. Um, the one thing about the park that was really unfortunate was the staff was um, horrible. Yeah. Absolutely horrible. Everyone there was an asshole. Um, everyone was mean to us. Like literally everybody. The people that served the food, the people that got on the rides. At one point, um, we were in uh, the last ride. We were in line for Skyrocket, and the way they do the queues, like their operations, are also just absolutely horrible. Uh, yeah. Horrible. I've never been to a park this bad for operations. Um, and there's people in a line in front of me for one, just one queue, and there's two empty. But I didn't see it because this l l group of people was here. And the woman looks at us, and she literally says to us, "She's like, would you guys like to move so the people behind you get in line too?" that's how it works you know or something like that and like just yelling at us like real like moody and like we're like okay and then we get there just for them so how they do it people that have vip passes they'll just load entire trains of them and not even let some of the other people go and they like even if there's a single rider they won't even ask if there's any other single riders they just send carts empty which is the most ridiculous thing um but yeah i mean people like i said when we were getting food and stuff there like they were like Kim got a drink and they and they just look at her like this, medium or large, like that. Like they said, yeah, like, like that to her. And um, uh, what you got yelled at? You can come and pick your drink up over here. They hollered at him. Yeah, it was like everyone. I've never and like everyone just looked so unhappy to be there. Um, and you know, I don't really care what anyone wants to say, a little comment section or anything. I don't care if it was a busy weekend. I understand things can be stressful, but that amount of people just to be that bitchy and like forceful attitude like and it wasn't just at the end of the day like they were tired or anything this was all day from the since minute we, we walked there. in well yeah. the person that we paid our money to was nice she was a nice lady yeah and then there was one other person actually said have a nice day to us yeah at garfield's nightmare the guy said yeah. have a good night but and he was very very nice those but are the only that, two people those are the only two people um so i'm gonna stick on it for long i'm curious though is this normal for Kennywood? This is the first time we've actually like been there, been there, like I said, and we've technically been there before, but I don't even remember it really well. I mean, are they usually like this? So the park was clean and it's laid out pretty nice. It's not a real big park either. No. Um, you can get to things pretty quickly, which is nice because Cedar Point is like huge and that's like the main one we go to. Um, it's more along this, it's kind of like King's Island size. Yeah. Because King's Island's not real big, maybe a little smaller than King's Island. Yeah. I'm not really sure of the exact footprint of the park, but um. Yeah, and the food we got, we didn't have a lot of things. It seemed like it was pretty decent. They have Rita's there, a couple of them, which is awesome because they like got rid of all of ours. If you um, aren't familiar with Rita's, if you ever find one, have it. It's really good Italian ice. Yes. We just had chicken fingers and fries. We knew it was fine, fair food, but I know they do have some things um, I think they're kind of known for as well. Like they have their like, little waffle pagoda thing. and um, Yeah. They had those beaver tail things that looked good. We never tried them, but they did look good. Um, I don't know like overall we had a pretty good time it's just said the worst thing was just the staff like everyone there was just rude 
But um, the rides are fun. The park was pretty clean. I don't know what's going on at Steel Curtain because not only did they close it down for the rest of the day, but they also had a thing on their website that they were closing it for Sunday as well. And I know someone that, you know, they had went there basically, you know, to that, you know, that's what they went there for and they got to ride at one time, um, which kind of sucks when that happens. It happens, I guess, I mean, I know what happens with new rides, but like, what's going on with this thing? Because they had to close it down for quite a while there and then they reopened it and now they're closing it down for another couple days and it's just like, eh. But yeah, um, that's basically our little kind of mini review slash synopsis slash vlog, whatever you want to call it, of Kenny Wood. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this style of video, let us know where we kind of talking heads it and also splice in footage. Um, if you haven't watched our Haunt Talk series, it is getting close to spoopy time. Yay. We are debating going here for Phantom Fright Nights and doing a Haunt Talk review episode on that. If you would like us to do that, let us know. Um, yeah, anything else we need to add? I nope. think that's it. That covers it. Alright. Um, yeah, make sure to uh, subscribe, like I said, comment, like us on Facebook, and all that stuff, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.